I discovered that I had comedic skills back in the early 90s. Um, I had just got out of the Marine Corps after spending 10 years in the Marines and I had been a recruiter. And uh, once I got out, I just used to see people on television all the time and say to myself, man, I'm funnier than that guy. You know, so I did some research to figure out how to get into stand-up comedy. So I finally got the courage up and I did an open mic at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase in Ann Arbor, Michigan back in 1992, right before I started my state police job. And I got laughs. I went on stage, I told a few jokes from my point of view that I thought might be funny. People laughed and, and I had the bug from then on. I never believed my very first investigation was, you guys are like this, stolen John Deere tractor. <laughs> think that's funny, you should have seen the farm when I asked him, what color is it? <laughs> and I know this is what I was put on earth to do. And this has been my, this has been my dream job. And I thought being a police officer and Marine was a dream, but making people laugh and not having to take a bullet, that's a lot better. What went into the decision of me making a pretty big career change is simply this. Um, in the Michigan State Police, you have to serve 25 years before you can get your full retirement. Being that I'm a veteran, I can serve up to 23 years. So I knew, always knew for the past seven or eight years when my date of retirement would come. So during that time, I prepared myself for my dream job. I went out on the road, I worked, I networked, I got jobs, I got funnier, and, and I've been basically just trying to set myself up financially as well as uh, creatively to be ready to take off on June, in June 2016 and just start this new life all over again. Because again, stand-up comedy is not something that I want to do, it's something I feel like I need to do when you can still make an income and, and be financially stable and do something you love, that's a win-win. Dwayne Gill Comedy Cop is a life reimagined moment is me chasing the dream that I've had for the past 10 years. Being able to leave that Monday through Friday, eight to four job and go out and perform for people all around the country that I've been doing anyway for the past 10 years but I won't have any time constraints. I won't have any job to get back to on Monday. I can take my time and travel across the country and hopefully bring some joy and laughter to people who want to come out and see Dwayne Gill. But I think the, the key is with Dwayne Gill is that, hey, I'm 50 years old. I'm out here still doing it with these young guys. And anybody can do that if they have a dream or a goal doesn't matter what age, as long as you go for it. Rodney Dangerfield didn't start doing comedy until he was 45, and a lot of people don't know that. And I look, I look at him, and I look at people my age that are successful in doing this and transitioning from one thing to another and being successful at it as people that I want to be like. Like some people, it's golf for them. I mean, they, they like to play golf. They're addicted to golf. For some people, it's hunting. For me, it's being on stage and those big bright lights and being able to tell a joke to some people that you don't know and making them laugh. That is like the best thing ever. It's nothing but joy to hear 3,500 people laughing at something that you wrote, you know? And they're laughing with you, not at you. I think that that Life Reimagined website has a lot of examples of people just like me and have a dreams and goals to do something different than what they have been doing for the past 20 or 30 years. And I think that that website and, and Life Reimagined has the tools that are available for people just like me who are ready to do something different, ready to go out there and, and, and basically retool themselves and to do something that's totally outside of what they've been doing for the past 30 years, you know? And, and if I can be an example or an inspiration to somebody my age, I mean, 50's not old, get me, don't get me wrong, it's not old at all, that's that entry level to AARP, and I'm happy I got my car because I, I take advantage of my discounts. But the thing is, you can, you can, if I can do it, you can do it. And you can look at everybody else on their website and use all the tools and information that they have available to help you be successful in your next career.